Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to use the justify content um, property in the tweet embed. Uh, the last challenge showed, showed, showed an example of justify content property. For the tweet embed, this property can be applied to align the items in the profile name. Okay, cool. The profile name is, uh, if we look down here, we see the div classes profile name here. So that's where it says Quincy, Quincy Larson and Osea. Osea. Uh, we want to add a justify content to the header's profile name. So we come up here, header, profile thumbnail, profile th profile name, and we want to add justify content. And we want to set that to uh, set any of these values. Oh, we just want to test them. Should have justify content set to any of these values. So let's see what happens if we go center. Cool. That one looks perfect. That's probably what we should do. Flex start, that should put it in the top left like we had last time. Uh, flex end. Oh, cool. So that actually aligns it column. Oh, look, we're doing flex column. So we're thinking about whether it's going to be at the top, middle, or bottom. I think space between might be great. Because that means that they're, they're going to be evenly di divisible or evenly divided. I don't think that's actually what we want, though. I think around, space around would make them so they're equal. Yeah. I think that's the one we want to go with. And since you get to do whatever you want, um, I'm going to go space around. If we run the tests, they pass. Anyways, hope this video was helpful. We'll see you guys in the next lesson.